Uh, I'm just grabbing a chair. Sure. Okay. Ah, he's got it right there. Okay, read, read it aloud. Uh, Bradley and I were on my floor, and I was pushing him down lightly. Bradley is a baby, 18 months old. And just making him stand back up to get past me with a little bit of force. So he was getting stronger. But he was not going to like it. He would cry. But that he needed to get stronger. So I had to put up with the crying for a moment. Now, what do you make of it? So my first reflection when I came out of it was I was wondering if uh, the, what I was doing, the, so the goal was to make Bradley stronger. And uh, I was questioning whether or not what I was doing in the dream was accomplishing that goal. Was that in the dream? No, you asked me what I make of it. So no, I that, know, but was that, was that thought and the dream? Um, which which thought? Okay. No. Uh, what did you just say? Hmm? Uh, what did you just say? Um, that when you asked me what, what I made of it, no. I said that the first thing that I reflected upon when I came out of the dream was that the goal was to make him stronger, and I was wondering if the functioning of how I function in the dream actually was achieving that goal. No. Was that idea in the dream or that was when you reflected after um, the dream? <clears throat> yeah, there was a question in the dream because uh, mom was the mother, mom was there. Who's? Bradley's mom. Okay. And, and in our household right now, it is a big question of how to uh, interact and relate with Bradley when he is growing up and he gets into tantrums and, you know, just how to relate to him. And so this was, and just, he's growing up and learning. And so it was like, He's, in the dream, it's, there's a point where it's like he was being not strong mm -hmm. and it was like you have to push past me if you want to get what you want to get. You have to get stronger. So I'm just going to push you a little bit back until you don't cry and instead just do it and come through. No. Get stronger. No. Did it work? In the dream. In the dream. <clears throat> you know, my recollection is is that either I just didn't get it down, or I, I just don't have that. Honestly, I, I don't. Well, you can only you know, yeah. you're in the dream. What yeah, I mean, there was no like in the dream. I I, I don't have. Uh, like the dialogue between Carol Ann and I, like reflecting upon this, I don't have any dialogue about it. It was just like that was where it ended. And that's why the first thing that I said when I woke up uh, after I recorded it was I was reflecting immediately on that goal and whether or not it was actually being accomplished. Did you read the last sentence? Yeah. 
So I had to put up with the crying for a moment. What does that mean? Uh, it means that... Literally. Uh, that I have to listen to him cry. Hmm? That I have to listen to him cry. So therefore it's still going on. It's a, something that's still going on. It's not in over. The, in the dream? No. Yeah. Is it over? Or? No. No, it no. was, uh, yeah, so like, yeah. yeah, so it was, yeah, there's no sort of conclusion. No, 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 so in the dream, you're still doing it, right? right. And this is the reason why, right? right. I had to put up with it for this moment. You're still doing it. Yeah. Ah, right. Uh, and your test is he has to pass you. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think of that? Uh, in the dream at that moment when you said that, what was that like? Because you're making a statement about yourself, aren't you? What was that like? Yeah, what did it do to you in the dream when that was going on? In the dream, what was that like? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it makes me reflect upon, you know, how I have to get stronger. <coughs> because I'm playing a role of essentially like a father figure. Right, right, right. And that's your principle. Right. Right? And so far, it's not working. Because he hasn't passed you. Is that right? He's trying, not yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> in terms of the goal, would you say this is a success or a failure? I honestly don't have the conclusion in, in there. I mean... Uh, At this point, in the dream. So in, 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 the, in the dream, it was left at the point of, like, yeah, it was like Carol Ann and I were, like, questioning it. What does that mean when you're saying, in the dream, you were questioning it? It's like we were, were just the, about to... She was in the dream? Yeah, like, behind me. Oh, okay, this Carol Ann. Yeah. Okay, another person, right? C yeah, Carol Ann, the mother. Right. And what's it like talking to her about this in the dream? What did it do to you to engage her on this issue? Well, we both care a lot about Bradley. And so we're both trying really sure. hard to understand what to do and, and how to be the best we can be yeah. for him. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's like this whole thing is on the platter to reflect, the reflect upon and look at and ask about, you know, is it, is it achieving the goal? Well, the, the assumption then is to achieve one's goal. You have to get stronger. You have to be stronger. Yeah. Or stronger than me. Same thing. I guess that's implied, right? No. Because no, no. it was me that you had to pass at that moment. No, no. But it wasn't like an ego thing, though. It was just stronger. Yeah, well, just, just uh, what do you think of that? To achieve one's goal, you have to be stronger than you. You have to pass me. That's the standard, right? Well, I don't think that than me. I think the to achieve one's goals, you have to be stronger. Is to me and in the dream, it, it that's those are blocks. That that those are blocks, and you have to be strong to overcome blocks. Look here. To overcome one's block. It's like courage. Hold it. You have to be stronger, like courage. You need strong, yeah. You have to be strong. 
Yeah. What do you think of that, by the way? Is that the way it overcomes one's blocks? I, I don't think you can truly uh, overcome your blocks if you don't have the, the strength and courage to take a look at the self. No, I, but, I was, but that's not what you're doing. This is a physical event. Right, but it was analogically related to this idea of that yeah. if you want to become stronger, if you want to achieve what you need and want, you have to, yeah, it was past me, but it was like you have to get stronger and assert yourself. No, you have to. This is the standard, is it not? That was, yes. No. Yeah. So you're the, you're the standard. <clears throat> yeah, and in, in the dream, that actually put me in a, an awkward position because, uh, like, I'm like Uncle Kevin. I'm not father, so nope. I don't want to be... What was it like in the dream, since you say at that moment I was, felt awkward? What's that like? Well, because it's like Carolan no. was there. Now, to tell me what it was like. Okay. Uh, what did it do to you, that means? Just kind of like, uh, oh, what, what do I do? Is this right? Is this wrong? Like, is everything okay? Like, like we're, it's like, we don't want to hear the crying, but it's like, we're hearing the crying. It's, it's awkward. It's, it's awkward. Like, it, is this wrong? Is this right? Like, you feel a little bit uncomfortable, maybe? Yeah, yeah. And more, you need more words on it. I felt questioning, uh, like, is this right, is this what, wrong? See, but what did that do to you is what we want to know. Sure, it's a question. What did that do to you on a feeling level? What's that do? Is it right or wrong? Is it okay? I don't know. What state of mind is that we want to know? It's not knowing. That's no negatives. <laughs> it's, isn't that, a, I mean, awkward is a state of mind. Um, yeah, what's it like? What's it do to you? Physically, does it hit you any special place or? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's like, I guess for whatever reason, the image that comes to my mind is like, like you're kind of balancing and it's like, you know, if, if you just don't have your balance, you could easily fall because you have to have balance. It, it can't be awkward or else you're going to fall. So it does hit me like, like in this sort of like unbalanced sort of way, like awkward, like, oh, oh look, her, you're saying it again, awkward. Well, what's Strange. that like? Come on. It was not not sure. Uh, what does unsure. that do to you? Not sure. What does that do? I agree with you. What does that do to you? Uh, makes me look at myself. That's true. But what does it do to you? It still doesn't answer my question. makes me look at it and 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 smile and uh and laugh or come on. What, what, what's uh, what's and, it and and pay attention <clears throat> of course what does it do to you to uh, do that same question i mean i guess it's just i <clears throat> guess it it's what does it do to you it, it it wakes you up it makes you pay attention whether you want to or not that has nothing to do with the state of mind. That's the consequence of it. Right. We just want the state of mind, not the consequence. The consequence is, yes, it will wake you up. That's true, but that's not the issue. The state of mind is... is uh, I don't feel negative, but I don't feel positive. 
I mean, I'm just sort of like reflecting as I usually do. You're not just reflecting, it's awkward. Hey. Well, like, because I, I, when I feel that awkwardness. Well, what's that like? That's all we're asking. It's not comfortable. It's uncomfortable. Look here. I'll use that word, but that doesn't, that's not much. Add more. Come on. It's not comfortable. It's negative. Mm -hmm. Look, I'll write it down. It's. Forget negatives. Come on. Say, when was the last time you experienced that in your, uh, yesterday? Come on. When did you experience that same state? That feeling of awkward? Um, when there was... Are you in it now? No. Uh, last, I think I felt it like um, when Carolyn and Craig had like a disagreement and I didn't know if I should jump in with the logos and try to help them or give them personal space and step back and it was well, that, that's what I can say. I can add to this and say it's also not knowing. Negative. What's that do to you, to be in a state of not knowing? <coughs> but you don't apprehensive. Know what, to do. what does that do? Apprehensive. Another big one. Go ahead. What, one more. <laughs> Come on. Apprehensive. I forgot about the seven letter rule. Hmm? I forgot about the seven letter rule, right? You don't know words but more than seven letters. Well, come on, Appre come on. Uh, weird, apprehensive, uh, awkward. I don't know, I mean, and maybe if I looked at the definition of awkward. Nope, got to come out of you, not a book. Yeah, I get that, but it's like, my words are strange, awkward, apprehensive, um, like wa walking on eggshells. When did you experience that as a kid? Yeah, I, know, I saw it. That's where it goes. Mm -hmm. Where does it go? That's interesting. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. You want the chart? Yeah. Oh. Is this the same thing? That's somebody else. No. That's Julie. Who do you want to do first? Do yours. We got yours. That's a you. No, I thought she was offering me. Oh, okay. I just saw it. So I guess I'm outside of school. Sorry, everybody. I had to write this up. I don't have copies. So I'm outside of school, there's a field, and in the field I can see these large black-haired animals running around. They're, they're large, like cattle size, like the size of a bull in Madrid. A little bit longer though. And they have horns and long noses with rings in them, and they're moving fast. And I yell, snoot alert, snoot alert. <laughs> <laughs> And I definitely do not want to be around when one of these things arrives or if it decides to go for me. So I run inside the school. Uh, and I think I'm up on the second floor actually now behind two big thick doors. Actually, there's three big thick doors. And I pull the two doors on each side, each end, closed. 
but somehow there's still a window in the middle door somehow, or maybe I can see through these doors to watch what's happening outside. It's not really clear to me. Anyway, I'm holding the two outer doors closed, I guess because they won't lock by themselves, so I have to hold them shut. One of them actually pulls through the frame and leaves a crack on the inside, which is a bit worrisome. But I still think that if I just hold these doors, hopefully the doors are thick enough and it doesn't matter what these snoots do. They won't be able to come through or they won't be interested anyway. So I'm wondering whether one of these guys is actually going to come upstairs and be out there on the concrete veranda in front of the doors or not. And it's, it's actually not clear in the dream whether they do or they don't. Scene two, same place. But then an even bigger animal comes around onto the veranda in front of me. He's like a, a gorilla, like a King Kong type guy basically, about 15 feet tall. And he is hungry. And the snoots had been scary, but this guy is super scary. And he is, I repeat, he is hungry. And there's another, there's a number of other large black-haired animals, and even they are bigger than the snoots or bulls. <coughs> but even they are afraid of this guy, this King Kong guy, too. And one by one, out on the veranda in front of me, he comes up to them, or actually they pass him, as if in supplication to him, hoping for mercy. I can see them through my window here. And one by one, he gets them trapped. Warthogs, other big monkeys, beasts, bulls, etc. And when he, that is the King Kong guy, roars, his mouth opens, and on the inside, it looks like the inside of a rhinoceros mouth or something. It's huge. And he is right on the edge. He's so angry. And one by one, they have to go past him as if they are being presented to him. And each one, as it passes by, stops for inspection and touches his quivering mouth. Or they put their head forward as if kowtowing and praying for mercy. And in the dream, I can tell what they're doing. They are absolutely helpless and they are just hoping that he will have mercy on them or that their smell will not be to his preference, even though his mouth is right there so close to each one, that maybe he will decide not to eat them and will pick someone else. And actually, each one of them, one by one, he decides not to eat them. Scene three. But then, finally there is a really big gorilla that comes forward. Basically the size of this King Kong gorilla. But this new gorilla is kind of big and puffy. It's maybe, maybe just a tad less than his size. And it, well, there's something about it. It's just really nice or really gentle or it's unwilling or unable to defend itself. And this King Kong guy comes up to it and I don't have it here in the print, but he kind of sniffs it also. He comes up to it, sniffs it, and this other large gorilla just tries to supplicate itself to the King Kong guy. But finally, at one point, he, King Kong, just roars. And at that instant, I can tell that he's made his decision. And he rushes around to the backside of the lesser gorilla instantly. So I can't explicitly see the action or the gore, <laughs> thank goodness. And he takes a major chomp, a mortal chomp or chunk out of the other nicer gorilla. And the other gorilla makes a huge scream. And then I think that the King Kong gorilla is going to eat the rest of him as well. But he doesn't. Apparently, all he did is to take one mortal chomp. And I can't see the wound. Again, it's on his backside. But for now, for some reason, the other gorilla's carcass gets dragged off to the right of my view. Like it's implied, I guess, that the other animals pulled him away, like he's being pulled off stage. 
And it's a little weird. I kind of wonder why he's not going to eat the rest of them or why they're pulling him off away. And it appears all he did is take one chomp. It was a horrible scene. No. Interesting. What do you make of it? Well, it, it builds, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Right? <clears throat> it definitely builds. Um, no. I think for me, looking back over this dream as I, after I wrote it down, I decided that this is... Um, that the, the two biggest questions here are, um, at least for me at the time, I'm looking at it, what's the drama? What is it about this other gorilla that the King Kong gorilla doesn't like? Um, and, he's, and, he's, and why is it that he's not eating him? He just, he just kills him. So it looks to me like the whole show, the whole drama is put on for the big gorilla, the King Kong gorilla, to show everybody what he doesn't like. And what he doesn't like in this one gorilla, this is the only animal that was close to him in size, and the word I'm using here is nice. Mm -hmm. And it's not so much the smell, it's the state of mind he didn't like. Mm -hmm. He's got to, and that's why he doesn't need to eat him. He's not hungry in the sense of food hungry. Mm -hmm. He's got to prove, he's got to get rid of that in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, what's left for me is, I mean, I can obviously see aspects of those in my parents, but like, where does that leave me? Like, what is, what's the drama in me that's, that, that that is playing out? Yeah, yeah. Read the last sentence. <clears throat> So it's a little weird. I kind of wonder why he's not going to eat the rest of him or why they're pulling him away. It appears all he did is take one chomp, and it's a horrible scene. Uh, uh, was that uh, three-quarters of his body? What, the chomp? Yeah, or nine-eighths, or... No, it was a... A hundred percent? No, no, it can't be a hundred percent. What? It was like... Um, it was like uh, he, he was kind of sitting and he took like this chomp out of like three quarters of his leg and part of his abdomen. He just, you know, maybe a, maybe a quarter of him or a third. It was, it was enough that he's just going to, he's just going to be bleeding mortally afterwards. He'll die pretty quick. Hmm. So therefore, what is he demonstrating? His power. That he... If he, he could do that much under those circumstances, he's showing them something, isn't he? What would you say he's showing them? That you are seeing. Well, I... Uh... I have my answer, but I think you're going in a different direction with it. Just so, go ahead. Just well, remember. it's the same thing I said before. I think he's he's killing niceness, or he's killing whatever that is in the state of mind in that other gorilla. Uh, which which he sees as fluffy and... Yeah, too, too nice, not... Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Right. So, pardon me. What kind of, among all the animals, what kind is he going to chomp on? Mm -hmm. He chomps on the one that is not scary. That's right. Right. It's not scary. Right. It's usually they're foolish not being scared, but... Uh... No, he's scared. Okay. The other gorilla is scared, but he's not scary. He's not scary. scary. All of the other animals yes. are scary, yes. regardless of size. Without, yeah. But he's not scary. He's yes. like a monster size, but he's like a big Pillsbury Doughboy or something, yes. in gorilla form. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, does he have an? One question: Does he have enough to lose a hunk? Like, could he survive that taken out of him? No. No. 
I'm not in this dream. He's out. He's going to be out. He suffered he's, such a loss that he's going to, to die. Yeah. Well, he, and the dream? He either is dead or he's going to be soon. And they're pulling off his carcass off to the right, or what will soon be a carcass. Okay. It's okay. a mortal wound. Right. So that, what happens to the nice guy? He finishes last. <laughs> <laughs> nice guys don't live long. No. Yeah, they might be. Yeah, yeah. You're watching the nice guy. What happens to nice guys? Not, not good stuff. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Not good stuff. No, 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 no. By the way, what's your role in this? Observer. Oh, you're not taking a role? I take no... You're watching this go down. I thought about that too. I could have distracted, I could have done anything. I took no role. No. So then would you say you're seeing something just or unjust? Uh, this is the maximum. I, I thought about that as I transcribed this. This is like, I can't imagine a more unjust scene than this. No, this, no, is no. Like this is like a 10 on the unjust scale. Right. This is it. That's, why, that's what makes it so horrible. Right. It's the best example of yeah. something being unjust. Yeah. I can't imagine yeah. putting, adding yeah. any more to it to yeah. make it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of uh, uh, this person you're calling a nice guy? The gorilla that gets eaten? Yeah. What do I think of him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, did he put up a fight? No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. No fight. Go ahead. No fight. Um, did he allow it to go on? Well, none of them put up a fight. Uh, did he fight? No. Thank you. Did he allow it? Yes, but they all did. But no, no. He's the one who suffered. Righto. But so far he's not distinguished. Well, except being a nice guy. That's the one. No. Yeah. So what do you think of nice guys? They don't fight, they allow this to go on? They take it. They take it. Hmm. What do you think of that? I think that's some serious and supreme bullshit. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, what does that mean? See, this doesn't mean nice guys die. Your idea of nice guys now is someone... Who just takes it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funked up. It's messed up. Yes, it, what does that mean? It's messed uh, up. Yes, you're right, it's messed up. What does that mean? Well, you know, what's weird about it is I, I do not think this way. I don't think I think this way in my adult life, but I certainly remember thinking this way as a, as a kid, all through childhood. Now, if the dream is telling me I still think this way, then it's, I'm quite curious. But I think you can be a nice person and still defend yourself. You better be able to. But that's not what's going on. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you're defending yourself from participating. Well, Doors and well, there's nobody in the room smaller than me, and they're no. all meanies. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get eaten if I go out there. Yeah, okay. Or you might fight. Uh, why? No. I... No. Okay, look here. Stay, we can stay with it. We're talking about no. orders of, no. I mean, these no. things are no. big. So it looks like this dream captures the way you used to think of things. Apparently. Yeah. Or maybe there's a bit of it still left yeah. that I need to look at. Yeah. Because, um, uh, do you still want to call this guy a nice guy? Well, that's the key. Why do you want to call this guy a nice guy? Uh, what do I want to call him? Yeah, what do you want to call him? He's, he's a wimp. He's just, 
I mean, I don't care about somebody being nice. That's what I want is a nice people. But they also need to defend themselves. They need to, you know, he, he was this other Kong, King Kong's guy's size or close to it. If anybody could have rallied the troops or done something even all by himself, it would have been this guy. That's right. Get up, do That's something. That's right. And he didn't. You know, so what are you going to call him? Show this fuck or something. Right. <laughs> give, at least give us an interesting show before you lose a leg. Right. That's the dream. There's a person who has all the qualities, capable of challenging his attacker. Be a warrior. Do it. Don't be so afraid of death. Right. If any of us has a chance, you do. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, in waking life, I already know that. I'm telling you now, I already know that. So what's the dream? Well, I don't know. We have to keep where we're still looking at it, you know? I mean, uh, okay. You did say this is the ideal person who could have fought him on equal terms. Uh, I did not think that in the dream, but looking at it now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it, it's a kind of fight between two equals where one of them it's, uh, it's not going to put up any fight. Yeah, he's acting like one of those smaller ones. He's yeah, acting like... That's right. Why are you acting... Yeah, exactly. You're saying you that... You don't know your own strength or you yeah, don't... But you're saying on reflection that he has everything in principle that he needs to fight him. Except... But he doesn't know it. Right. He doesn't know it. That's, that's it. Yeah. He doesn't know it. Yeah. Even though it's obvious. Right. Well, it's not obvious. He has all the size he needs. He has the teeth, he has everything he needs. Yeah. But there's a crucial factor missing. Right, which is? Bravery. That's right. And with bravery, you can be half the size of something else mm -hmm. and still beat it. Mm -hmm. Have you been taking a brave action recently? Yes. Oh. Did you leave this? Yes, in a big way. <laughs> Is this your story, that you were a nice guy, and you put up with a whole bunch of stuff, and now you're taking action? Yeah, but that... Uh, when did you have this dream? Wednesday. I took action Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday night, right? Yeah. After you took action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on reflection... No. Go ahead. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, right, right. No. Thank you. Uh, and on reflection. Well, no, but the no, thing no. is... <laughs> You're like saying if that on were reflection ref that that person should have, should, have been, should have engaged... Well... In, in a struggle against the other equal. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Uh, is that what you've done? You took action. We're we're, we're talking about my my job, my workplace. Um, I did take action, mm -hmm. but I did not directly confront my boss about it. I just decided I'm going to leave because this guy. Well, then were you being a nice guy? I was. Well. In a sense, um, I needed his recommendation, or I want his recommendation, so I decided not to confront him on his, on his ignorance. And I think that's actually a, it's a, and it's a, it's a decent way to go because I, I'm, I can see that I'm, I finally saw I'm never going to convince him. I just have one question for you. In terms of the way the story came out, how important was his statement? Was whose statement? Your boss's statement. How important was it? Which statement? Well, I presume he gave you a recommendation. He said he would do it. He was glad to. Yeah. No. You didn't have it when you got the information, did you? Is that right? 
uh, he, he, hello big guy, uh, he has offered to give me a recommendation before. I was just sort of renewing it, like is your offer still good? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, rec I'll be a, a reference for you. Yeah, I'll be a reference. No. And we got along nicely. I, I think the thing is he just doesn't Let me see how again. he's operating and I'm not going to be the one to teach him. I, I don't uh, okay. uh, The only question before is, is how important is it going to be or was it? <laughs> <laughs> or was it and what, what turned out to be a decision on your part and your move? How important was his recommendation? No. It ended up not having any, actually it has no meaning at all. That, thank you. Therefore your concern is what? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> it's unfounded. I don't need his recommendation. I made, I made my own path without him. That's right. You didn't need it. Therefore you could have confronted him. I'm, I could still. Yeah. Mm. The point is, how important is it for you to do it the way you want to do it? The question is, what will it do for you to do it? <laughs> I have, we have a Greek chorus over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it, it'll be um, healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> next, next. These are copies. Everybody have one? Uh, I'll pass them around. Oh, I think most everybody has one. Oh, okay.
Okay, I'm going to read it aloud. Okay. okay. Every, who needs more time? Okay. Okay. Right. Good. So, um, had this dream where I'm at UCI at a time in the future from when I had last worked there. I'm in a big open office area where there are lots of desks and just a few past women workers with whom I'd worked in the past. They were from the human resources and payroll departments within social science. The whole office area is brand new in terms of what it was before, a whole new building. I'm kind of entertained by all of the newness, but at the same time, they're also trying to remind me of facts about where I used to sit when I was there. They're kind of showing me, I don't know what. On one hand, Sheila's pointing out where her desk used to be, which was out in the hall outside of the office area. It was interesting because it got me to wonder aloud with her as to what they were doing by having her desk out there as if to set her apart from the others. Because she's black, I was wondering if that was just how they used to do it back then because of a racial difference. The whole situation had a feel of like they were trying to or going to bring me back into the fold. But I had left there on my own and had no intention of wanting to be brought back. It was more like I was just in the neighborhood and stopped in to say hello. And they, in their reaction, were just showing me around the new place. But in the process, there was this sense of their wondering about or talking about where I would best fit in. Then I was out in the hallway of this building and playing with a ball on the floor. Maybe a cat was there or a small dog or child. Something was on the floor playing with this ball with me. I just threw it and something was batting it around. One of the old deans might have walked by at some point and might have looked my way briefly as if to give me one of those cursory acknowledgments of being seen but not felt. That made me feel sick inside because that's how they always were at that school. Then at some point through the end of the hall where the door was and through the glass in the door, I think I saw myself walk by the building. I thought about leaving at that point. It was like eerie being there. The big office was like a ghost town with no one really there. There was a strong feeling with all of it that they were trying to figure out where I could best fit in, and yet I found the whole thing totally uninteresting and without life or meaning. Blue was the prominent color, the carpets throughout the office and on the floor in the halls, a big round office with all the trappings of a real office, but with no life anywhere. That was the end, and I... Um, no, that's it. That's the end. What do you make of it? What's the issue? Um... Why am I there? Seems to be the issue. There's Good. nothing there yeah. for me. Yeah. But what is it like for you to hold that question and being there? What is it like for you knowing that and being there? Yeah. What's it? What does it do to you? It. Um, it's an interesting feeling. On one hand, it's. Um, Boy, it's a kind of a split feeling, like, uh, I mean, I stopped there on my own accord, so this is my doing, but um, it's, oh man, it's in interesting. Can you... I'm actually going through this with somebody else from my old job there, and I've called her and said, hey, let's get together. But it's like, no, no. it's the same feeling. It's I like... What is that same feeling like? Come on, like. What's it like? It's like, like I, there's a feeling like I should be enjoying this. I should take them up on participating with them. Um... It should be really important and valuable. 
But I don't feel any connection. Just like that dean who looked at me. I, that's how I look at them. I, there's no, no, in fact, I'm, I'm appalled by them. I'm, I'm. Yeah, but you're still there. But I'm still there. Yeah. What's that like, still being there, given everything you're saying? Uh, yeah, I got these great statements, right? But that doesn't tell me what it did to you. It, um, yeah, I want to say it just creeps me out. Which, come, on, yeah, come on, creeps me out? Yeah, it's eerie. It's spooky. It's like I'm amongst the living dead. What's that like? That Come on. there are people. They they appear to be people, and they're walking around, but they don't have a soul. What's it like seeing that? Seeing that in the dream. What does it do to you in the dream to see that? <coughs> it makes me want to. Have it disappear. Um, you want to make it disappear? Yeah. More. What's it? See, that's a consequence. <clears throat> it's unsettling. Um, yeah, okay, I could write that down for the same reason. Right? Yeah, it's unsettling. creepy. It's, um, it's, it's like horrible. There's a sense of horror and That's, like two so, things that will never meet. What does that do to you? You're right. What does that do to you? Two parts are never going to meet. Right. That's right. That's what you're saying. Yeah. What's that do to you, though? Well, I see myself at that point being without a soul. I can't. I'm, I'm there just lifeless. I can't speak any truth. I can't ask any question. I can't get, I can't feel anything for them or their situation or their wanting me to maybe fit in. Uh, yeah, that's good. By the way, what are you describing at home? How I felt my whole childhood there growing it is. up. Right, it's a whole childhood, it's here. Yeah. Your whole childhood is in this dream. And it seemed like that's how everybody felt about everyone in my family. And that's the way they all felt about one another. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. A horror on top of a horror independently and inter interactingly. There's all a horror. Yeah. Yeah. And no connection with anything. No connection with anything. But what does that do to you? I can't ask. I can't ask. Look here. I'm without soul. I can't ask. Right? I can't right. I, I can't feel anything. Therefore, this is silence. Right? The silence. What does that do to you right. in that kind of silence? It, it makes me feel phony. Yeah. And yeah. it makes me feel a little guilty and bad that I'm even there because it's... Yeah, you like, take the blame. That's right. Have to. Yeah, like I'm there... Yeah. They're talking because I'm there, and I'm thinking, well, I'm, you know, causing them to offer me a place there, and um, that but, I am not going to take it. I have no intention of. Yeah, so you feel phony and feel guilty being there. Yeah. Oh.
Yeah. What would happen if you open your mouth and end the silence? What's going to happen if you open your mouth about this? What should you say to the family? What if you were, hey, you're present when this is going on. What should you say to them? Right now, what should you tell them? They're all sitting around. You're there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time for you to end the silence. What are you going to do? Going to tell them about what they're doing and what they're creating and the effects it has on you? What would you say? Come on. You know, we weren't hey. together that often, but when we were, it was, um, what you know, you I say? was feeling, when we, we were together so rarely that when we no, were, no. it was like, this come isn't on. bad, I like this. Hey, come on. And the silence. What do you have to say to them about what they're doing, what they created, and what you participated in? What do you want to say? Going to tolerate it? Then you feel guilty being there and feel phony. That's right. Unless you end the silence, what are you going to tell them? Hmm. How are you used in this silence? Since you're silent and say nothing, what role do you play within them? The role I play is to be... Um, I'm kind of the entertainer, partly the entertainer, and um, worker. I, I kind of, I'm kind of the public relations person. But there's no room for me in anything I want to do. That's right. This so what are you going to tell them? Yeah, I got these roles, but you know what? Go ahead, say it. Right. Um, well, I mean, I guess I would one thing say I wish, I wish I could, I wish you guys would support me in some, in like ice skating, for example. I want to be an ice skater. And you're not saying anything about what they are doing. You have to say in words what they are doing and what it does to you. What does that do to you to think of that challenge right now? Well, I, I would complain with my sister. We would complain to each other, but we never voiced it to them. So you have to voice it. Yeah. Go ahead, I'll listen. Well, I would just say to them that it's not, it, it, we wish that you could um, spend more time, but see, it would have been impossible. That's right. I mean, they claimed they hey. had no money to, hey. to buy us anything or buy us lessons, but yet they would spend a ton of money on alcohol and... Oh, they always had money for alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, so therefore, what do you think of what they're saying? So it's not true. So what are you going to tell them? Just that I, um... What are you going to say? This is the world. There it is. You're silent. Then you have these roles which are empty. So you feel phony and you feel guilty being there. So what are you going to tell them? about what they are doing to you. They're not letting me pursue my goals. 
but you're not telling them what they're doing. Thank you. Well, I'm not sure I knew what they were doing. I okay, mean, excuse me. You know perfectly well. Got beautiful descriptions of it. Well, they kept me from ex from sharing myself with my friends. Uh, they kept me from being able to have friends over. They kept me from wanting to succeed in various things I wanted to do. Yeah. By, by their doing what? Playing this game of... What are you going to call it? Well, they played the silent game, too. Um, acting poor, acting... Um, just acting like I don't matter. That's right. And they're saying it. It's like living among the dead. Are you going to tell them that? No, that would be a good one. To well, do it. Let me hear it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> it's like living in, the gra in a graveyard around here. You're all dead, walking dead. Hmm. What does that do? Is that different? <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's different. And they used to drive me to go see those movies, so they were very aware of that kind of thing. So it would have hit home. Mm. Um, I don't know if they would have... See, you don't, wait a minute. You don't give a damn what they're going to do. You just want to right. speak for yourself. That's all. Right. They yeah. may kill you. Yeah. That's their business. You've got to tell the truth about what you see. Yeah. You've got to end the silence. So yeah. you tried, you tried. Actually, you know, this is making me wonder now. There were times when my father would get so mad that he would start, you know, we would pick up furniture and hurl it at each other, and there were big fights. And I'm wondering now, it was always my brother who, I think, got those started. And I'm going to find out from my brother now what he did. You know what he did. Well... You know what he did. I think he probably tried to exert his yeah. his wants and needs mm -hmm. and um, told my father that... Throw chairs, tables, big battle. Battle, yeah. Well, you're seeing what it, what cost, what it costs to tell the truth. Right. Mm. And then you get kicked out. The father would say, okay, you're out of here, son. That's it. You never come back. That's right. You're right. learning something. What is he teaching you? Exile. Yeah. If you... Speak the truth. You want to tell the truth now? Yeah. Why don't you use that too? Right. So how would you add that to what you're going to say? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, yeah, that happened a little later than um, what I was thinking of, but uh, yeah, um, and let us speak, let us be ourselves here without having to be kicked out of the house. Mm. God, mm. we're just children. I mean, we're talking about like seven, eight, nine years old. Yeah. And they want to kick my brother out of the house. Yeah, for telling the truth. For, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's that like? Well, then I want to be with my brother, so I go after him <laughs> and climb up in a tree and we're going to like live there. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but... Did you see how important it is to end the silence? Yeah. Yeah, you came yeah, somewhere. You sorry. came close. Yeah, okay. Want to try it once more? What are you going to tell them? Well, that you guys, we can't just live like this when you're. Living dead. Living dead. It's like the living dead around here. A lot of darkness and. Yeah. No talking and. And if anybody does, 
What they happens get, to them? They get hit, they get exiled. Even at the age of? Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Or my mother would get hit yeah. if she spoke the truth to him or her Good. husband. Did it, that, we needed that. It has to go for both of them. Yeah. Mm. Right. You couldn't speak the truth. What's up with that? Yeah. What are you, a bunch of... Go yeah, ahead. They made us act, think like the truth was bad. Yeah. Because we were... Above the truth, or yeah, that's what they we were. We weren't going to let the truth bring us down, or <laughs> you got it. Kind of you got it. What did you yeah. just say? I like that. We're not going to let the truth bring us down, right? How, what does that do? Well, it's very interesting. I mean, it Listen makes it. it makes what's really good and beautiful into something really bad but, and ugly and criminal, right? And the whole thing is just a total upside down phoniness. Now you're talking Jesus. the truth. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what a weird thing. Thanks, Pierre. You got one. Come on up with it. Okay. Yes, please. Let me take a break for a minute. Take a few minutes break. Do we know about Saturday yet? No. Nancy said it's nothing limitating on her part. Okay. This was <clears throat> Tuesday night. Thank you. It's this is what's in the recorder. I was giving birth. Oh, good. <laughs> I I knew I knew somehow, running through the hospital, I was shouting, breathe deep, deep breaths, slow, deep breaths. I had to get through the hospital myself. I didn't know where I was. I went down one thing, couldn't get through another way. I was trying to connect I guess I was trying to connect with who's ever this girl who's in labor. I was trying to connect with her the entire time. Breathe, slow, deep breaths. And then I get there and I I have my shirt on backwards, so I flip my shirt around. Right side on. And it was all blocked off to her. A few people there couldn't do anything. But the but the uh, the birth bag or whatever it was, the birth bag with the placenta, I guess, mm -hmm. was on the ground. Mm -hmm. Was there? It was weird. And then. The doctor was just sitting there. I just remember seeing this, yeah, who appeared like the doctor. He's just sitting in the chair. That's the dream. That's what I thought. Yeah. Say, what was it like seeing the doctor sitting there? <clears throat> what the hell are you doing? Like, everyone, get up. Like, what are you doing? Like, there's the baby on the floor what was it like it was like 
the hell are you doing? But you, but you didn't say it. Yeah. That's what you thought. Right. But that's not what yeah, you said. Yeah, and it was like some like typical doctor, you know, like some. That means, what are you saying about this profession dealing with this issue? That he's just, he's indifferent. Yeah. He's indifferent, he doesn't care, he's... Did she need it? Did she need the hospital? Did it turn out she, did she need it? Did she give birth? She did, but it's on the ground, still in the bag. So, was it successful? She gave birth. He's just watching. Yeah, but no one's doing anything. That's yeah. right. But did she give birth? Yeah. Thank you. But... The, You're um, running around hoping they're going to do something. I... I'm trying to, like, get her into the breath and, right? You are helping her with the breath, yes or no? Yeah, the, continuously. Yes. I'm, like, shouting through the hospital. I'm all, breathe, breathe. <laughs> Who's the midwife? Yeah, me. You. Yeah. You're going to a place that should be doing it. Yeah, this guy, he's just, like, in his... You yeah. Know, he's a typical... He's a schnurfdurfer. Yeah, he's, he's, he's thinking about his race car outside. Yeah, whenever. yeah, 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 he's a nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a nothing. How are you doing? I'm trying. I'm, no, I'm, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Thank you. Even though I'm from a distance. Wait a minute, did it work? Did the breathing work? Yes. Louder. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> You're not giving any credit for yourself or for her. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> right. What do you think of that? <clears throat> How important were you in this process? Yeah, important. Hmm. But you're angry about them being what they're, they're whatever it is they're, yeah, rather like, than whether or not you were successful. Are you ignoring your success? Yes. Hmm. Why are you having this dream, sir? That's continuous. What is? Ignoring, dismissing. Oh, where do you get that? Who's the great dismisser at home? Um, both of them. Okay, what should you say to them? What do you got against me doing what I love? Well, and that's hey, you're not giving yourself credit for what you're doing. You're you're following their model and ignoring your success. Is that right? Yeah. So what do you want to tell them? What is it done? To, what is this? What is this done to you? What, what that history? Yeah. Or just I dismiss every single thing I do. I, I, I actually it's even worse. It's like uh, I'm just I just like yeah ignore everything. Well, what are you going to tell him? What are you going to tell him? Come on, what are you going to tell him? You're not kill telling. Me. You're not kill, telling kill him. <laughs> See, you're not telling him. You're not telling them. Put it into words. Go. Hey, get out of here, dude. Not enough. No. <laughs> Go drive your Audi. I didn't even need you. You're not sitting enough. in here being You're a not jerk. saying what they're doing. Stop looking at your Rolex and wake the fuck up. You just gave birth. This girl, woman just gave birth. 
Who are you telling that to? The doctor. To them, mother and father. Oh. Uh, what would I say to them? What would that be like, telling them that? Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, he slipped off a cliff up there in the mountains. <laughs> How important is the dream? Yeah, it's very. You're living in their world, even though you're having great successes. It keeps you from seeing your good. You want to continue that? No, you have to answer what, what they're doing. Yeah, just holding me down. They want to drown me. Yeah. No, good. What else? Let me swim. Love to do some dives. In spite, hey, <laughs> come on, add to it. In spite of the fact that how are you doing? Great. Ah! From a distance, even. Do they see it? You going to tell them something about that? Do they see it? Yeah. He didn't. Hey, he's just a. Yes, yeah, such a jerk. So, they're, hey, they're your parents. What are you going to tell them? Live. Wake <laughs> up. But you're not. Do saying, something. But you're not Do something. Say, you're not oh. saying what that has done to you. Yeah, it There's, makes me angry. I'm angry at this guy. That's right. I'm very angry, actually. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? That's right. There's a baby on the floor. Why are you sitting there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm angry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what that angry does? It blocks Just, you from seeing yourself. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. So no. no, no tomorrow. Okay. I love the way we talk about it. There will be no tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>